What is going on everyone? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It is Tyler the Body Balloon Foodie here back at it again. It is 4.30 p.m. and I am super excited for this video because today we're going to be trying Korean Mexican fusion. In particular, we're going to be eating Korean burritos. Now, as I've learned from that last cheat day I had last week, um, I'm going to be kind of scaling back on the crazy amounts of sweets just because I don't really feel too good after I eat them and you know these cheat days are for the sake of my enjoyment and I guess your entertainment as well however sweets it just doesn't really jive with my stomach and I'm just gonna try to enjoy this and prolong the feast as much as I can rather than just like burning out an hour into my feast so with that said let's get to the next clip boom okay so before I go to the actual Korean restaurant. I'm making a quick pit stop at this little grocery store over here. A lot of people don't really know what this place is, but they have some really good Asian treats. Let me show you a little bit. You get one of these guys. Never tried this before, but they have a ton of dessert bread, and I'm craving some sweets. It's pretty good. It's like kind of cheesy, but also sweet at the same time. All under 60 calories too. And I made it to the place. I think Hanmo is waiting for me inside. There he is. What up? Now today I went with. Spicy chicken, sweet and spicy chicken burrito. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Let's squeeze the slime. Let's go for it. It's really good. It's like, you taste both the Asian influence from both sweet and spicy chicken and the kimchi, but there's also cilantro in here, so you also get like a sense of like Mexican flavor plus the lime. It's, it's really good. Yeah, it definitely doesn't taste like an average burrito. At the same time, it doesn't taste completely Asian. It's hard to explain. You guys have to try for yourself. So if you get this, they'll ask if you want cilantro in it. I highly recommend it. It just makes it taste a whole lot more flavorful and just adds like another dimension to it. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's also cheese in this. I've never had cheese with like a stir fry dish. I think I'm gonna down this in one bite. On to the second half. I really like this. <laughs> it's both like salty in that like cheesy way, and the cilantro kind of emphasizes that. But at the same time, it's sweet. It's a really sweet meat. It's just like complements it so well. The tortilla, it's like a bit flaky, 
it feels <clears throat> it feels like different. It's not like Rebu Tortilla, but I I like it. All right, last bite. Clean the plate. That was really good. Arguably, I would say I enjoyed this more than Maze, the Mexican food I had last week. So definitely, if you're out of here, you definitely should try this. Still not as good as barbecue cream and chicken. <laughs> Dude, barbecue cream and chicken was actually really good. Yeah. All right, so job well done. We're gonna be heading right next door to Panera Bread because. Then I'm gonna pick up a little, little something, something. Uh, I got myself a sesame bagel with honey walnut schmear. Perfect balance of salty and sweet. On to the next place. All right, guys. So update on the night. Me and Hamo were feeling some. Uh, Taipei Cafe, you can't really see it, but it's a uh, bubble tea place. Whoa. It's a really cool place, really like the vibe here. Good place to just sit down and chill. All right, got the drink. So this is our brown rice milk tea with grass jelly. The cool thing about these places is that you get to really control your sugar level. I went 80% sugar though, just because, hey, it's a cheat day. But uh, on to the next place. Well, it's been a while since I said hi to my old friend Craven, so <laughs> that's why we're here now. All right, throw back to uh, the first episode that was many weeks ago. So this time we got General So Chicken. Honestly, it, it looks the same. As your orange chicken minus your orange peel, and the reason is, it's probably it probably is the same, but I don't care. This is super good, and I'm so excited. A little small piece. Now I'm gonna start a big one. Oh yes, see the steam. Oh yeah. Sometimes the hit or miss. I noticed with cravings, even though it's my favorite Chinese spot, certain batches of orange chicken, general so chicken, sesame chicken you get, you can tell it's kind of like a older batch. Because basically, my theory is what they do is they make this like generic fried chicken in bulk and all they do is when someone orders it they throw it on a wok, throw it in the sauce and then whip something up and I think it's just a matter of luck and whether you get like a fresh batch or not but I think I lucked out this time guys. This will always be my favorite cheap, cheap meal food. This will always be my number one favorite cheap food. You guys, something. So, this is my plate. This is this is Han Mo's plate. Love it.
Final stop of the night, Miyazaz. Oh baby, it's actually really sick. You get to choose between pizza, salad, pasta, or panini, and then, like you grab one of these little forms down here. You can just fill everything out. So, sad, uh, sad reality, I just found out that my mic was facing the other way again, but I have one more slice of pizza left. Basically, this pizza was pretty decent, um, honestly, not as good as I thought, like, it's comparative to, like, a mob pizza, or, like, a blaze pizza, but I feel like you're better off going there, unflavorful. So, hope you guys enjoyed this cheat day. I, even though I ate probably around the same amount of calories as I did last week, I feel like the quality of the food I ate was significantly better, and because of that, I feel I feel great right now. Like I'm like satisfied. I'm not too full. I don't feel like I'm gonna puke or anything. So I think this was a successful cheat day. I'm happy. Uh, without further ado, hope you guys enjoy. Feel free to like the video, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.